Welcome back, everyone. Today we'll be driving the British Charioteer on one of the maps it finds most favorable, Malinovka. And even better, we are top tier in this one. For those of you who haven't been here before, this is currently my favorite tank in the game because it is <laughs> effectively uh, a British Tier 6 Cromwell uh, that has had its puny little 75mm gun swapped out for the mighty uh, L7 105mm uh, gun, which is actually a gun you find quite commonly on Tier 10 medium tanks. <laughs> it doesn't have nearly the uh, the aim time or the uh, accuracy of it, of what it would have on a Tier 10, gun, uh, tier 10 medium tank, because that would just be unfair. Uh, but still, with 260mm of penetration on the standard rounds and the fairly ridiculous 210mm of penetration for 480 alpha on the Hesh rounds, this tank can get pretty silly. It's quite quick, it's quite sneaky, it's got pretty good view range. Um, you just have to be careful. And oh, hey, look, someone's giving me a comment, and I've loaded Hesh for my first round. And <laughs> that was a nice, a juicy high roll for 500 damage to start this match. Now, of course, I didn't spot it when I fire there, as I was expecting. So I'm going to kind of waffle around a bit, make myself a little bit of an interesting target to try and predict, and then zip away to reposition, because that is in fact what this tank destroyer really is best for, is shoot something, then move someplace else, if you, or either if you would think you have been spotted. So now I'm popping in these bushes, once again, looking for targets. And what I'm going to do here is using these bushes as an optic shield, I'm going to throw around at where I think an enemy light tank is hiding. But before I get there, there's a Cromwell dancing around on top of the hill. Unfortunately, he's pretty well shielded to me at the moment. But he is taking on a couple of fairly significant tanks in a face-to-face -face fight. Uh, not really the best use for his Cromwell on a map that actually uh, the Cromwell can sometimes do quite well on. And I, of course, am looking to a point where I can finish him off. But there's just, there's just never quite a good shot. So, next up, I can see that there is a Type 5.8 here, and it just was a sliver of a shot, but, well, it's not the most accurate gun, but it doesn't mean it can't score hits. So I end up tearing off half of the Type 5.8's uh, health with a single shot. Once again, looking for a shot in the Cromwell, don't find it. I'm not expecting to find a shot here, but once again, I thread looking for Type 5.8 to try and finish him off, but it looks like he's not planning on coming up here. But more activity up on the hill. But most of these tanks appear to be pretty well shielded. But then I spot this Type 6 Heavy, and he is not covered. He's able to punch around right through the side of his turret there. He disappears, but I decide to fire a blind shot in where I think he is. Unfortunately, that round is going to miss. As I can see, a few moments later, he reappears and still has the same health. But that's okay. Here's another shot. And of course, this one hits him funny. And ended up bouncing off the side of a Tier 6 Heavy tank. Whose armor is definitely inadequate. I wish I hadn't fired that shot because yeah, there's a there's a Type 5.8 again. He's going to be rolling around down here. First shot, unfortunately, miss it. I'm looking for the shot here. Just see it thrown here, fire, and gain the kill. It does get me lit again, so I'm going to back off and I'll try myself a difficult target for anyone who might be aiming at me, be they as some sort of artillery or another gun tank. But I'm pretty sure I'm longer spotted. I once again popped by the bushes because there's an MT25 poking in this spot. And I know just how dangerous it is to have a tank poking in this spot. So I'm going to pop up in here into these bushes. When he comes up again, I'm going to nuke him. Now I see another tank running across here, but I just don't have the shot. So the MT25 was just down here, and I'm really expecting him to climb up and try to do something. So he was checking to see if I was here, the proxy spot, but I'm just far enough back that that doesn't work, which allows me to just crush him when he finally drives up next, or drives up into what he's thinking will be his next spotting position. Now, amazingly, that doesn't spot me despite how close I am to him, so I'm able to remain in this position, continuing for targets. The unfortunate heavy tank number six just kind of blows up. Now I'm looking around for. A comet that I saw go sneaking into there at one point. So I'm once again moving up into bushes, looking for the shot. Also see some targets on top of the hill, but I'm a little afraid to shoot. I don't want to accidentally snag an ally. And that's when the comet does show back up. He's actually in a somewhat awkward spot here. Uh, but we very carefully wait and line up our shot. And I wish I had time to reload Hatch because I might have finished him off. But instead, we leave him on very, very low health uh, as he spots us and tries to engage while I'm. Once again, trying to play evasive 
not give anyone too good of a shot of my charioteer. Then pop back up into this bush hoping to get a final sneak shot in, but unfortunately he spots me as I come up. Takes another shot, misses me, thankfully, but he does get me spotted again, so I once again go into uh, anti-enemy fire drill here. Just keep moving. Uh, don't make it easier to hit me than strictly necessary. This tank does not have the armor at all. It, it's, it's just a thousand and fifty hit points of, of tin foil. <laughs> but it does have a very it's very quick and it does have a very, very nice gun, as I've mentioned. So now I'm back to this forward position, because I don't want to be caught. Once again, I, I try to move positions whenever a short, even if it's only short distance, or time I shoot, uh, minimizes the chances that I'll find myself taking random hits. And I'm scanning for targets. Now there was a medium tank somewhere here in front of me. You can see the base is still holding up pretty well. We're up by one tank. And that's why I see here comes the Swedish Primo Autoloader. I can't run away because he'll spot me. So instead I put the turret around, shoot him out of his misery, and then run away once I no longer have to worry about him running into me. Uh, and clipping out half my health. The first time of the match, artillery takes a couple pot shots at me, uh, but they miss, and I say to myself, all right, if there's a badly shot up low up there on top of the hill, I will kill him if I have to, but really I'd much rather that artillery finishes him off because his view range is such that it's very difficult for me to sneak up on him uh, without getting spotted. But I do want to go up here on the hill and help out my teammates who look like they're about to start once this low is dead, they're probably going to start pushing down. So ping the map where the low is, and hope the artillery catches on. And I can see he's been stunned, so that's good. The one artillery nearly got him. Hopefully the second one can finish the job. At this point I'm thinking, I'm going to have to do it myself, and boom, the artillery does in fact take the low out. So now I've got a pair of T25-2s and a Cromwell up here. And I'm looking at them as, well, they're both fire support, but also uh, <laughs> meat shields. The enemy bird is spotted. I'm like, ooh, I'd love a shot at that, but nope, he's dead long before I get there. So we're going to continue advancing down the hill. Really hoping that we're not the one who's picked out to be slaughtered by the enemy team when they can pile it down here. The Cromwell, unfortunately, he's a little further ahead. He's been spotted taken out by a combination of enemy gunfire and artilleries. Now I come running forward to this bush right here, see if I can spot things, and come to a halt. I just want to make sure that I've got backup with me. Now T25-2 apparently has decided that he does not give a shit, so I'm going to move up with him uh, to make sure we got good fire support. He is abruptly vaporized by an artillery, but that just means that now I know where the artillery is and I'm able to take off most of his health. And the other T25 T finishes him off. Look around. So the other guy is probably not going to be so bold as the first T25 was. And I'm going to be the one who heads on into the bushes here. I figure there's probably a Tiger 1 up ahead of me, and, well, apparently also an IKB 90B. So I'll finish off the 90B on the move because even though this tank is not good and I'll move snapshots every so often it works out pretty well. Well, if it hadn't worked out, I just would have rammed the 90B to death. And I'm zigzagging expecting fire, but no fire comes in. The Tiger 1 is not actually back here. So I go, where the heck could that Tiger be hiding if he is not back here in the trees? But then, enemy Scorpion G, extremely dangerous. Fortunately, I've got some Hesh loaded. Slap a really nice big shell into him and then continue my advance he gets spotted though someone else faces him off before I can reload so I'm gonna have that little gnoll in front of me I'm like oh tiger where oh there's a tiger over there oh he's shooting at me um ow so snap a shot off doesn't go so well that time but that's okay I can now rush to get into cover behind the hill because only too many tanks left and now I know roughly where they both are now they've lost sight of both the mouse no I'm probably not gonna respond so I pop up in here looking to spot the tiger tank, but there's a bunch of bushes between me and his last known position, uh, so I can't actually spot him very well. And I decide, well, I've got plenty of teammates left, I'll, once again, just very, very carefully uh, let them catch up, but I do, I do attempt to scout a little bit here. And that's one of my teammates finds the SU-100M1, I say, oh, lovely, side shot, I'll just pick that up right there. Even more amazingly, well, the, the bushes work both ways. The tiger can't see me either. <laughs> so I can pull back into these bushes. He gets spotted. 
And I've loaded Hesh again because I'm really hoping his health will drop low enough that I can just headshot him with the Hesh. I'm waiting and I'm waiting. It's just other people aren't able to damage him. But then he disappears and I say to myself, oh, what the heck. And I put the shell in hoping to ammo rack him. Uh, when he reappears, it's pretty clear I got a penetrating hit, but it wasn't enough to finish him off with a top gun. But that's all right. Hope you enjoyed watching this match. Good game and good night.